today I'm going to be showing you guys how to work your chest using only a barbell. So if you have access to only a barbell and some plates, so it doesn't matter, 10 pounds, 25 pounds, 45 pound plates, as long as you have access to uh, you know some plates and a barbell, you're going to love this workout. So we're not going to be using the bench for this and we're going to be attacking our chest and our shoulders, so our delts mostly. If that kind of stuff interests you, make sure to stick around for this video right here and let's go ahead and have some fun, man. Okay, the first workout here is floor presses. Four sets, 12 reps. This is just like the bench press. It just doesn't let you get that full range of motion that the bench press would usually allow you to get. So here are some tips for you guys. You wanna make sure you bring your elbows and your triceps down until barely touching the floor. Do not push the weight off the floor, you know. You wanna keep tension in your chest throughout the entire exercise here. <laughs> Okay, some more tips for you guys. You want to use lightweight plates between 0 and 25 pounds to avoid injury. You can use a bench or a rack if you want to increase that weight. You know, if you want to lift a lot heavier and push some bigger weights. Okay, this mainly targets your entire chest region. So the entire part of your chest region, the upper, the lower, and the mid portion of your chest. So you wanna make sure you incorporate this into your workout. Okay, next up we've got some closed grip floor presses. Four sets, 12 reps right here. Okay, here's a tip. You want to make sure that you're lifting with lightweight plates as well to avoid injury. 25 pound plates were used in this video as well as a 45 pound barbell as you can see in the video. This mainly targets your mid chest section. So it helps you add mass to, you know, your mid section of your chest. It also hits your triceps but mostly focuses on, you know, getting that squeeze and building size in your chest. Okay, some tips time. For this one, you wanna make sure you keep your elbows tucked to your side, so kinda of keep them there so they're not flaring out. And you wanna keep your, your, your wrists at a close grip, you know, for this workout. Okay, next up, we've got some shoulder presses. Four sets, 12 reps. Some tips for you guys. You wanna bring the bar below your chin level and keep the weights low to avoid injury. I used 25 pound plates in this video right here. This workout also targets your front shoulders, so the front side of your delts. It also targets your entire delts, but it more focuses on the front sides of your shoulders or your delts, whichever one you like to call it. Okay, for the next workout, we've got some reverse floor presses. Four sets, 12 reps. Okay, here's some pointers for you guys. You wanna keep your hands in reverse and at a wide grip. And you can keep the weights light. Between zero and 25 pounds is good for plates. I've got 25 pounds in this video right now, but do what feels comfortable for you, because working out without a rack, you know, especially for your chest, can be a little tricky. The main focus of this workout is your upper chest region. It targets your entire chest, but it focuses on your upper chest region. Here's another tip for you guys. You wanna make sure that you bring your elbows and your triceps down until barely touching the floor. And you wanna make sure you're not pushing off the floor. You wanna make sure you're keeping tension in your triceps and your shoulders the entire time.
Okay, some more shoulder work here. Upright rows, four sets, 12 reps. Okay, here's a tip for you guys. Bring the bar just below your chin level and make sure your elbows align with your shoulders every time you bring the bar up. So make sure it's straight as you can see right there. This workout mainly focuses on your shoulders and your delts. So the entire delt is where it, you know, kind of attacks. Doesn't really have a main target. It kind of just attacks the entire shoulders, including the traps. Okay, finally, we've got some decline floor presses. Four sets, 12 reps each. Okay, tip for you guys. You want to make sure that your body or your lower body is suspended in thin air the entire time. And you want to make sure that you're doing the same thing you do it did with every floor press and make sure you're not pushing the weight off the floor. So make sure you bring the weight just, you know, as close as you can to the floor and then push right back up. Keep that tension. Now this workout targets the upper section of the chest. Uh, just think of them like decline bench presses. So decline bench presses would usually target the upper section of your chest because you're pushing from the lower section of your chest using the upper section of your chest. But that's it. That's a workout for you guys who don't have a bench or access to a gym right now, but have access, you know, to a bar and some plates. So as long as you have access to some plates, you should be able to do this. The biggest thing with this workout is that you're not going to be able to really go heavy in weight because the placement of the barbell, trying to get it above you each time can be really tricky. You'd want to have a rack higher when you want to lift heavier weights because you have to upgrade as you guys you go. But this is good to start if you're home and have no access to a gym, this is good. You can do this workout right here. Make sure to do each workout correctly and do each one for about 12 reps, four sets each. So this is a high volume workout uh, for your chest, but this also helps you burn fat and build muscle alongside. If you want to build some serious mass, then make sure you get a rack and you up the weights. But that's all I got for you guys in this one. If you enjoyed this video, which I know you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. If you're looking for more content like this video, maybe using a dumbbell to work your chest, you know, without no equipment at all, but the dumbbells, then make sure to click on the video on the screen right now. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. It's Midas. You already know I'm out of here, man. <laughs>